Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and press the little pink button. Today I'm going to be going over my dupe for the Alex Vanity Desk. So I'm going to give you the prices I paid for it um, and what you can find it online for and coupons and stuff. So I'm going to give you all those details and what mine looks like. So let's get okay, started so with the video. Okay, so this is what my vanity desk looks like. This is actually where I film my videos too, so that's why you see the pink background there. Um, but let me give you a little closer up. I just got this. I've had this stool um, pretty much since I was born. It's been at my house. So I'm going to be getting a new stool, but for now, that's the stool I'm using. So when I'm not filming, um, I have a mirror up here. Let me put it up and show you guys. Vanity looks like with my giant mirror. So let me just give you a quick close up and then I'll get rid of the mirror so that you don't have to see the lights and everything. Okay, so these are the drawers. Okay, so I didn't want to like leave the mirror back there and kind of just stand behind the camera while y'all see the background and everything. So that'd be kind of obnoxious, but I do want to explain a little bit about my vanity. So I've seen a lot of tutorials for the dupe for the Alex um, vanity, and I know that the vanity, the whole thing itself, can cost anywhere from like I think 210 to 215, 220, something around the, along those lines. Um, I'll leave the exact prices up. I'll just flash the price up here somewhere. Um, so I actually got my drawers. It's a, a drawer unit from Michaels. And it's going to be the five dresser unit by Ashland. So in stores, they're originally $99.99, which I didn't know this. So online, it says $89.99. And then Michaels is always having coupons, so you never should pay for the full price. So they're usually having 40%, 50% coupons. I actually got, um, whenever I was ready to go get it, the following couple weeks, there was a 40% off. So I went to the store, they were 40% off. In the store, even though online it says $89.99, in the store they're actually $99.99, which I did not know this. And they won't price match. I asked the lady and she said they won't price match. They're online. This was at my, my Michaels, so it could be different. Hopefully it is for y'all. But she didn't price match mine because she said with shipping and taxes and everything, it came out to be the same price as what was in stores. So they didn't price match to the online price. So I got them for the $99.99 with the 40% off. So I paid for each dresser unit $59.99, which if you can get the 50% off, then you'll be getting them around $50, $49.99, which would be a whole lot better. <laughs> um, so I did get them for $59.99 each. The table topper I got from Lowe's. It is a, I can't remember the exact dimensions. I'll leave links for everything down below in the description box. I will pop up little flashes right here of the exact dimensions I use. I will link, leave link, links in the description box so you can go look for it at your Lowe's. I went to Home Depot's. I didn't have um, good luck at Home Depot's. They didn't have any of the shelf tops that were going to be um, wide enough. All of them were probably like really skinny and not that long, maybe like 10 inches long. Or, um, but you definitely want something that's pretty long only because if it's going to be a desk, you want to be able to have your legs go underneath. Um, and Lowe's definitely had the best options. You can definitely go online and search, get your tape measure out, figure out how you want it. The dresser units itself are about 24 inches so they're not too tall I personally have the wheels on mine I do have carpeted floors but I did put the wheels on them so it made it, it gave them like an inch and a half more um, in height so I have my wheels on it and then the tabletop they were really easy to set up um, not too difficult to assemble so in total for my vanity I spent probably one 
25, 1.30. Um, I had the mirror laying around in my garage, so that mirror I already had at home. I do, I think I do want to paint it white, um, and I want to add some light somewhere along the lines, and I'm trying to figure out how I want to put my background, so this isn't going to be exactly how I keep it, but I did want to give you guys a demonstration about how you can do an Alex Dess dupe for cheaper than the 215 that you're going to be paying at Ikea. So the dresser units were really easy to assemble. Um, when you open the drawers, you can get the little acrylics or plastic dividers. If you want them matching white, they don't have to match white because they're going to be inside your dressers. You go to the dollar store and find a whole bunch of cute little glass and acrylic things. The things I had on top that were holding my sponges and my makeup brushes, they were glass and I got them from a dollar store. So they were a dollar a piece and I had got four of them. So I got two of the little stemless wine glasses and they are holding my brushes and then I got a star. So I got three glasses. I got a star that's holding my makeup sponges and then a little acrylic lipstick holder that's holding lipsticks. So I hope this gave you guys some good information. Don't pay full price for your Alex Ikea vanity unless you just want to spend the 200 something dollars and you want it all to come together but there's definitely cheaper ways i've def i've seen people spend about a hundred dollars i spend about 120 on mine um which i was okay with because i knew it was still going to be a hundred dollars cheaper <laughs> than the ikea so i hope this helped you guys i'll leave prices and links in the description box i'll flash up prices um, as throughout the video as I'm talking, but thank you guys for watching. Hope this was helpful for y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye <laughs> Palette so if you want to see how to get this look then just keep watching